Uh, from five, four, three, two, one, you can start. All right. Happy Easter Monday if you celebrate, and happy Easter Monday if you don't. Anywho, let's start with some breathing. You can close your eyes to start. Sit up nice and tall. And whether or not that's cross-legged or your feet out, just find a comfortable sitting position that's comfortable, yet alert, and straighten your spine. Okay, plug through the crown of your head into the ceiling. Then we're going to take three centering breaths together. So breathe in and feel your shoulders rise. And as you breathe out, pretend like you're blowing out a birthday cake. And your next in breath, lengthen your spine again. And then as you breathe out, sink back down into your mat or your cushion. Okay, on this third breath together, pretend like you're drawing energy up from the earth. And then become more planted as you breathe out. Nice. All right, so let's relax our whole body. Okay, pick a body part that feels most strongly for you. It can be maybe a light breeze that you feel of air that you feel in your body. It could be where the air hits your nostrils or just above your upper lip. It could be your chest expanding as you breathe. Just pick something and stick with it and continue to sit and breathe. Okay, as we come back together, let's relax our whole body from our face down to our neck and our shoulders. And I want you to notice where your hands are and how they feel. Okay, they got to be clasped in your lap. Maybe they're a little cold this morning, or they're resting on your knees like mine are. Just take a moment and notice where they are, and just continue to breathe. You'll notice how your chest expands as you breathe in. And how it contracts as you breathe out. Or maybe your belly is where you notice your breath the strongest. Or put your one hand on your belly. And just continue to breathe and let it, your belly expand and contract. Maybe notice how squishy it is like mine. Perfectly good. Just breathing. Relaxing. And this last little part, which is focus on nothing at all, just sit here and be. And I'll let you know when you can come back to the room or play the singing bowl.
All right, let's take let's last let's take one last deep breath. So let's breathe in. You can hold it at the top. And when you hear the singing bowl being played, I want you to breathe out and open up your eyes. I'm going to pop off my block for a second here. All right. So let's do a spinal stretch. So let's take our right hand and plant it on your left knee and plant your left palm on the floor behind you and give yourself a gentle twist, turning your chin into the left shoulder. And as you breathe out, look further behind you and relax. Maybe push your left knee a little bit with that right palm. All right, and then let's unwind and let's get our other side. So left palm into the right knee. Right palm is pushing into the floor. Okay, once again, see how far back behind you you can look. Okay, pushing, feeling the spine twist. And then let's come back to center. And then we're gonna get a side stretch. So take the arms and reach up above and reach here, reach as high as you can. And then in your next out breath, plant that right palm on your mat and keeping both sit bones planted, reach over your head with the left arm. And see if you can grab the upper right hand corner of the room and turn the chin up and look up. Okay, notice where that stretch comes all the way down your side, all the way to your hip. And then let's reach the right arm back up to the top and let's come down to the left side. So left palm is planted, right arm is reaching over your head letting the stretch go all the way down to your hip. Okay, and use that left arm, play with that distance that you're stretching. Maybe you can come down to your elbow, maybe you can't. Maybe scratch your beard, whatever. And then let's bring that left arm back up at the top. Give me one last reach up towards the ceiling. And then bring the hands to heart center and then we'll get our inner thighs. So bring the soles of the feet together in front of you. Seeking bowl. And then bring your heels in your soft tissue. Let the knees drop down to your mat and just lean forward. Yeah, feel the inner thighs. Imagine there's a string from your belly button to your toes. And you wanna shorten that string as much as you can. I want you to round out your back and place your fingertips in front of you on the floor and just crawl or slide with the fingertips. Okay, letting the inner thighs relax, the knees come down a little bit further. Okay, reach, 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 get every last millimeter. All right, and then we're going to Relax, come back up, and then we're going to stand. We're going to get our hamstrings. Oh. <clears throat> so find a nice wide stance. Toes are facing forward, legs are straight. Okay, nice and wide here. Bring the arms up top and keeping the back flat. Swan dive forward. And then rest your arm, um, fold your arms and rest your forehead on your forearms. We're gonna start by rocking side to side. Okay, engaging either side. If you want to, you can stay on one side if one of your hamstrings feels a little bit tight for you today. If not, continue to swing back and forth. Okay, go at your own pace. All right, and then 
I want everyone to clasp their fingertips behind them and reach those hands towards the ceiling or towards the front of the room. Letting the head drop down towards the earth a little bit more. And those legs are straight and strong. We're going to stay here for another three, two, and one. Okay, dropping the hands back down to the ground. Let's plant that right palm on the floor right in front of your face. And rotate the left fingertips up. Turning the chin up towards the ceiling. Okay, if you notice your knees are bending slightly, I want you to straighten them up. Maybe we bring your heel toe a little bit closer together, but find what's comfortable for you. All right, let's take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring the left arm back down to the earth and swap palms. So that left palm is planted, right fingertips are reaching for the ceiling. And think about your arms as a vertical line. You want those arms straight. Don't sag. Okay, you're pushing into the floor with the left palm. You're reaching up with the right. And just like the other side, let's take a deep breath. Let's bring that right arm back down. Okay, and we're about the upper body dangle. I'm going to do a slow 10 count. We're going to straighten back up. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you can bring your legs together. We're going to do a, uh, a neck stretch. Let's do two neck stretches. So let's grab the left wrist behind your back. Make a chicken wing on the right. And then drop the head down to the chicken wing side. Okay. And then I want everyone to roll their head back as you look up. Okay. Feel the stretch at the front of your neck. And then gently roll your head forward and notice how the stretch changes. Okay. Looking down at the toes now. And then come back to the neutral position and then let's swap sides. So we're grabbing our right wrist behind our back, dropping the head down to the left side. Okay, and since we started by looking up on the other side, let's roll our heads forward and look down. And maybe one side of your neck is stiffer than the other. And then roll the head back as you turn the chin up. Nice. And then roll your head back to the neutral position, back to center. And let go of that wrist. Now I want everyone to take their fingertips and pretend like you're plugging them into the ceiling, uh, into the floor, not the ceiling. And then drop the head to the top of the chest. And then roll your head over to the right. Like you're listening to the secrets of your right shoulder. Okay, and then roll your head to the left. Feel the back of the neck. Then everyone go at their own pace here, just going side to side with the head. Okay. Ooh. Maybe find the tight spot somewhere in between. Then get one last cycle in. And then you can bring your head back to the neutral position. Okay, and then we're gonna get our shoulders. So let's go left arm across the top of the chest. And then pull the elbow in slightly. Feel the left shoulder. We're getting it ready for all those down dogs. Switch sides, let's get the right. And let's drop. That stretch. Let's get our elbow, our triceps. So I'm going to start with the left arm behind the head, gently pulling on the left elbow. Maybe you need to turn your head slightly, get your head out of the way. 
Then we're going to switch sides. So we're pulling on the right elbow, right arm is behind the head. And we're going to relax that, release that. All right, let's bring our legs and feet together. Let's stand up nice and tall. You can look, begin by looking up. Let's bring the arms all the way up top and reach for the ceiling. I'm going to start on my left. So left hand is on the left side. Okay, we're going to kick out that right hip, slide the left hand down our left leg. Our right arm is above our head, reaching for the upper left hand corner of the room. We're turning the chin up towards the ceiling and letting that stretch go all the way from our hip to our fingertips. Okay, continue to reach. If you notice, there's a bend in your elbow. Straighten up that arm. And then as you breathe out here, bring the left arm back up at the top and drop the right arm down, kicking out the left hip. Okay, reach, 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 reach. And then let's bring the right arm back up to the top and then bring your hands back to heart center. And then we're gonna come back to our, the lower half of our body. So find a nice medium stance. Toes are facing out about 45 degrees or diagonal. You can keep your hand at heart center. And then keeping the head and chest up, we're going to lower our bottoms down to the earth. Okay, play with that distance, whatever's comfortable for you, whether that's up here, maybe you can come down. Okay. And if you're all the way down, you want a little bonus, you can push the elbows into the knees. Okay, you can rock side to side if that's a thing for you. Oof. All right, let's take a deep breath in. Let's and then place the hand on the legs. Support yourself as you come up. Okay, nice and easy. Feel yourself. And we're gonna get our hamstrings. So come lengthwise with your mat. I'm gonna start with my left leg out in front. So the left toes are facing forward, your heels are in line. We're gonna bring the arms up top again. We're gonna keep that front leg from bending and then swan dive over the straight left leg and drive the right heel towards the front ankle here. And wherever your hands are, whether you're on your shin, or on the floor or on your ankle, using your hands. So you can lower your torso down a little bit further, get a little bit more out of that left hamstring. Okay, don't hold your breath. As you continue to exhale, get a little bit lower. And then to get out of it, let's bend the front knee and then come on up. And let's switch legs. So that right leg is out in front now. Okay. Arms are back up top. And then as you exhale, swan dive over the straight right leg. And remember, just like the other side, let's drive the left hip down towards the front ankle. Okay, maybe I'm gonna use my block here just for fun. I have one, so I might as well use it. And just like before, we're breathing, getting a little bit lower into the stretch with each breath. Okay, give me one last stretch, give me one last reach here. That right hamstring is nice and happy. Let's bend the front leg and come on up. All right. Now let's do our moving sequence. I'm going to face the door today just for fun. Variety. Come towards the front of your mat. Let's bring the feet and legs together. Get a nice good mountain pose going, standing up nice and tall. And bring the arms up top. We're going to do two practice swan dives here just to warm up. 
So swan dive forward, reaching for the ground or reaching for the toes. And then bring the hands to the shins and the knees for flat back. And then round at the back, reach a little bit lower and then eyes up, head up, reverse swan dive. Okay, we're just warming up here. That's one till the hands are at the top. And then two, swan dive back down. Okay, maybe we're touching our toes. Coming up to flat back. Exhale, rounding at the back, reverse swan dive. All right, and then we're gonna start. So third one, swan dive down. We're feeling good. Okay, coming up to flat back, rest the hands on the shins and the knees. And then as you exhale here, plant both palms of the mat and step or jump back to plank. Then everyone, every, I want everyone to cheddar on the down, keep the elbows at the sides, coming into upward dog. Okay, getting the legs and knees off the mat if you can. Come back to plank, give me a push up here as we make our way to the first downward dog of the day. Okay, as usual, we're gonna get a little calf action here. So let's bend the left knee and drive the right heel down. And feel the stretch in the right calf. Okay, fingertips are spread, push the floor away, switch legs, and we're bending the right knee. That left heel is coming a little bit closer to the mat. Okay, switch sides. Back to the right. Okay, switch side once again, back to the left. And then we're going to straighten both legs. And then from here, we're going to do our crescent pose to prayer twist and bring the feet together. We're going to start on the left side today. So let's float the left leg, left heel up into the air, and then swing it through and plant it in front of you. And then bring the arms and torso up. Okay, reach up with those hands, lengthen the spine, the back heel is up and off the mat, front knee is tracking over the front ankle, we're in crescent pose. And as you exhale, bring the hands to heart center and transition into prayer twist. So let's push, press the right elbow into the left knee, hands are stacked, Left elbow is facing the ceiling. And that left hamstring or left leg is feeling it. I feel a little of my right hip as well. All right, and let's come back to press and pose, reach up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale here, bring the hands back down to the mat, bring the left leg back to plank, and let's chatter on the down into upward dog. Okay, come back to plank. Give me a push up if you'd like. As we return to downward dog, and let's repeat on the right. So feet and legs together. We're gonna bring the right heel, right leg up into the air. And let's swing it on through. Right leg is planted, arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. And my left hip is stretching out here. My right ankle is tracking over the, or my right knee over my front ankle, rather. And I'm gonna lower my hands to heart center and come in a prayer twist on the right. Hands are stacked. Left elbow is pressing into the right knee. And we're breathing. Happy for the sunshine. We're not doing yoga in the dark anymore. This is great. All right, let's return to crescent pose. So reach up towards the ceiling with those arms. Don't let the elbows flare. And then exhale, bring the arms and torso back down. Let's plant both palms. That right leg comes back to plank and let's chatter on the down to our upward dog. Come back to plank, give me a push up here as we return to down dog. And then we're gonna do our usual warrior sequence. So bring the feet and legs together. We're gonna do our left side first. So float the left leg up into the air. 
And then swing it on through, plant it in front of us. And as your arms come up, that back heel comes down to a warrior one. Okay, give me a nice stable warrior one. Don't let those elbows flare. And then let's bring the arms front and back for a warrior two. Now let's come into reverse warrior, gently resting the right palm, the back leg, the left arm is reaching towards the back of the room. And come back to warrior two. Let's do a straight leg triangle pose. So let's straighten that front leg or that left knee. And then I want everyone to reach as far forward as you can with your left arm and you can't reach anymore. Drop the left hand either down to the shin, down to the floor. That right arm is reaching up towards the ceiling. And we're turning the chin up towards the ceiling as well. And maybe you can come down to your palm to the floor. Maybe it's just your fingertips, your yoga block, doesn't matter. We're gonna hold this for another five, four, three, two, one, let's come back up to warrior two, and let's bend the front knee once again, getting back low into it. Let's go back into reverse warrior for just a moment. Okay, back to warrior two, and then swing that arm forward and up for warrior one. And as you bring the arms back down, the back heel comes up, let's plant both palms, left leg comes back to plank. And then let's chaturanga into our upward dog. Back to plank, give me a push up and let's return to down dog. And let's copy and paste for the right. So feet and legs together here, float the right leg, right heel up into the air. And let's swing it on through and come into warrior one on the right. Then arms front and back for warrior two. And then to dip back into reverse warrior, reaching for the back of the room with those right fingertips. And then back to warrior two. And remember, we're gonna do the straight leg triangle pose. So let's straighten that front knee. And then reach forward with those right fingertips. And then drop the right hand down. Okay, maybe you're a little more flexible on one side. You can move that hand to the outside part of the foot. That always gets a little crazy. All right, and then let's pop back up into warrior two. Let's bend the front knee once again. So the front knee is tracking over the front ankle. Okay, let's dip back into that reverse warrior. Don't put too much weight on that back leg. And then back to warrior two. Swing that left arm forward and up for warrior one. And as you bring the arms and torso down, that back heel comes up. Let's plant both palms. Right leg comes back to plank and let's chaturanga down into our upward dog. Okay, come back to plank. Give me a push up here. As we come back into down dog. Okay, fingertips are spread. Push the floor away. Feel the hamstrings and the calves. Nice. Okay, and everyone, I want everyone to step their feet slowly towards their hands. And then bring the feet and legs, knees together. Drop your bottom down. Arms come up for chair pose. Okay, I do roughly the same sequence every week because I think it hits all the major groups. At least it does for me. And let's be real, I do this for me. Y'all are just here to support me. Just kidding. All right, let's straighten up our bodies, keeping the arms up in the air. Get off the heels. You can rotate towards the camera so we're not just looking at our sides. Maybe we're lying down on our mats still because it's Monday morning. Maybe we're thinking about joining the rest of the group. You know who you are. 
Okay, let's return the heels back down, gently bring the hands to heart center, and we're going straight in a twisting chair pose on the right. Okay, pressing the left elbow into the right knee. And if you notice your bottom's up in the air and your legs aren't bent or your knees aren't bent, bend the knees, get low. Okay, work the lower half of the body. Nice, let's come back to center and slowly sprout back up. Okay, onto the toes. Feel your calves work. Okay, reach up towards the ceiling, lengthen the body. Those calves are working. Let's take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, lower the heels down, hands come to heart center. And let's do twisting chair pose on the left. Okay, once again, if you notice you're not bending your knees, okay, bend them a little bit more, work in your glutes. You're welcome, or not. All right, we're going to straighten up our bodies one more time. So bring the hands back to center, straighten up your torso, get off the heels, reach, 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 reach for the ceiling. Okay, work the calves. Maybe you're shaking a little bit, your stabilizer muscles are getting pushed. And then we're going to Bring the heels back down in three, two, one. Bring the heels down, bring the hands back to heart center. And we're gonna take our halfway break because I need to use the bathroom, do water break, open a window, do what you gotta do. Door. <clears throat> All right, let's return to our mats. Standing up nice and tall. We're going to do tree. So let me hit start here. There we go. Let's get 98% of our weight on our left foot, left leg. You can either you know, bring your right foot onto your left leg if you can. If you need to leave your right toes on the floor, that's good too. And then add the arms, whether that's up in the air or at heart center. Okay, imagine you're a nice tall tree or a short tree, it doesn't matter. All trees are lovely. Except trees like quince trees don't like those. And we're breathing. Just like in the beginning, every time you breathe in, draw energy up from the earth. And as you breathe out, become more planted. See what I did there, planted tree. Anyhow, bring the right leg out gently. You can shake out the left ankle. Okay, I love doing this test every week, seeing how my foot's healing. But we're gonna put 98% of our weight on our right foot, right leg. Bring the left heel into the soft tissue or 
somewhere else on your right leg. Okay, sorry, lots of concentration happening on my end. Adding the arms as you can. And just like before, we're breathing. Ooh, been better, it's been worse. All right, and three, two, one. Get off that right leg, we're gonna shake it out. Let's do some standing leg extensions. So we're back in the left leg. We're gonna hug the right knee in. Enjoying that little stretch. You can stay here if that's comfortable for you. Otherwise, grab the back side of the knee and extend out the lower leg like you're kicking out your left uh, right heel. Okay, that's stage two. You can definitely use something for balance, perfectly good. If you wanna go for toe lock, feel free to go for the toe lock. I like to wrap my left hand behind my, to my right side. It's always helped with this pose. Let's stand up nice and tall. We're gonna hold it from the three, two, one. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna shake out my left ankle. And we're going to return to the right leg, right foot. This should be fun. We're going to hug in the left knee. Okay, let's extend out. I didn't even come to the wall. Extend out the left ankle, or the left heel, rather. See when we go for tumble block with the assist on this side. Get on that bow of the wall. Testing out that right foot for me. Let's take one last deep breath in. And as you release, you can let go of that left leg. All right, let's have a seat or your table. So plant the soles of the feet in front of you about shoulder distance apart. The hands are planted behind you. Let's prop yourself up into a table, pressing the pelvis up towards the ceiling. Head is dropping back. Okay. And if that feels perfectly good for you, you can stay there. If not, let's go for bonus. Let's bring the right ankle onto the left knee and then you can switch sides nice all right so from here let's gently lower our bottoms back down to the mat let's lie down on our backs let's do a bridge so clasp your hands underneath your lower back roll onto the shoulders Let's push the floor away with the feet. Okay, if you want to go for the assisted bridge, you could plant the elbows on the floor and place the hands on your hips or your lower back. Maybe assisted bridge. I think I'm going to do the assisted bridge today just for fun. All right, and from here, one vertebra at a time, gently lower your back down to the mat. Don't rush it. Oof. All right. Cool. We're going to stretch our glutes. So keeping the left foot planted on the mat, bring the right heel onto the left knee. Make a nice figure four with the legs. And then grab your left leg, whether that's your shin or the hamstring. And notice where that stretch comes down to your glute, your right glute specifically. I'm gonna do three breaths as we usually do, because I think that gives us enough time to stretch out the glute. So let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
Remember, nice long breaths here. Relaxing the body, getting deeper into the stretch. Once again, let's breathe in. And then release. And then last breath for the right side. Let's breathe into the nose and out to the mouth. Very good. Let's release the left leg. Let's plant the right foot back down to the mat. And then we're going to put that left heel onto the right knee. Grab the right shin. And engaging the left glute. And then let's breathe into the nose. And out to the mouth. Once again, let's breathe in. And then relax. Breathing into the left glute, letting the stretch extend as far as it can. Okay, trying to get as much benefit out of the pose as possible. And then we'll take one last deep breath, really make it count. Let's breathe in. And give me a nice long out breath. And then let's release the right shin. Let's stain our backs for happy baby. So legs are up in the air. We're grabbing the outside parts of our feet. Let's pull our knees in towards our underarms. And then just rock right to left, left to right. And just feel your spine against your mat. Nice little massage here. Yeah, I was like adding this whole spine section, taking care of our backs. I was going to say it's the backbone of our body that's a little on the nose. Let's release the feet back down, legs back down. We're going to grab the our right knee in towards our chest. Enjoy this little stretch. Sorry, you're drinking water. I had a little cotton mouth going on there. All right. From here, I want you to grab the outside part of your right knee with your left hand. And pull your right knee over your body. And then extend your right arm out to the right. Okay, you should feel a nice little twist in your spine. Let's keep that left leg straight. Looking out towards your right. Other side that has the extended arm. And we're going to try to get the right knee and the right hand to touch the floor. Okay, really getting as much as you can out of that spinal stretch. Think of your spine as a wet rag and you're just wringing out the stuff we don't need. All right, let's take one deep breath in. Release the breath, get even deeper. And then let's bring the right leg back to the neutral position. Then let's hug the left knee in towards the body. Oof, nice. And then take that right hand and grab the outside part of the left knee. And let's get the other side. So pulling the left leg over to the right side of our body. Left arm is extended out. And we're stretching the spine, twisting the spine on the other side. Okay, let's take one last deep breath in. Nice long exhale. See how much further you can twist that spine. And then let's bring the left leg back to center. Oh. Okay, let's get a nice morning stretch here. Arms up above, point the toes at the bottom. Ooh, shaking a little bit, maybe. We're going to get our cat cow next, so I want everyone to sit back up. Highly recommend rolling up your mat a couple times. 
Okay, protecting the knees. There we go. Okay, we're on all fours. Knees and hands are shoulder distance apart. You can untuck the back toes, or rather just the toes. I guess we don't have front toes. But let's do five breath cycles. So let's breathe in, head and bottom up. Chest is down to the mat or down to the floor. And then as you breathe out, round out your back the other direction so your head's down. And then inhale, head up for two. And then exhale, rounding out the back. And when you round out the back, I want you to push the floor away. Arms are straight. Okay, inhale, head up. Exhale, head down. Okay, inhale, head up. This is four. Exhale, head down. Inhale, head up. Last cycle here. And then exhale, head down. Feel that spine pressing up towards the ceiling. And then come in a neutral spine. Okay, so we're going to get off the mat. You roll up your mat with me and then unravel it. Okay. And then we're going to come in a quick child's pose. So knees are about as wide as your mat. Arms are reaching forward. Just continue to breathe and relax. All right. And then you come out of child's pose. We're going to get our forearms. So we're returning to the all four all fours position. And I want everyone to uh, turn their fingertips so they're facing up to the right and left. We're going to get our forearms. So let's start on our right. Let's lean over to the right. And notice where the stretch comes up your right forearm and then back to the left and then over to the right. Okay, and then lean on the left. We're going to do three cycles each time here. Okay, back to the right one last time. Then over towards the left. And then come to the center. Okay. And then I want you to plant your palms in front of you and turn your fingertips towards you. And then gently bring your bottom back down to the heels. You don't need to come back that far, or at least I don't need to come back that far to feel that stretch creep its way through my forearms. Okay. You can think of lowering your bottom towards your heels. And then get out of it, just gently lean forward and peel your palms off the mat. You can roll your wrists, roll your fist, okay? Just releasing that, all that. Oh, we're gonna go into pigeon next. So we're gonna return back to the push-up position. So pretend like you're about to do a push-up and then let's bring that right foot forward and plant it behind your left wrist. You drop both knees down. Okay, you're over that front ankle and you're just finding whatever position works best for that stretch, whether you're on your palms, you can untuck the back foot, okay? And then you can come down to your forearms and your elbows. If you wanna get really crazy, come all the way down, rest your forehead or your cheeks on your hands. I can't really describe where I feel this stretch. I kind of just feel it everywhere from my right glute. Okay, we're still there. We're hanging out. I've always enjoyed this one, so I always let this one run its course. I'll let you know when we can come up and add the quad stretch. Don't worry, just stay there. All right, just like before, as you breathe out, see if you can relax and get further 
end of the stretch. All right, no matter which position you're in, I want you to plant your palms in front of you and bring your torso back up. And then keeping your right palm planted on the mat, I want you to reach back behind you with your left hand, left arm, and grab your left foot if that's an option for you. We're adding the quad stretch. Ugh. Okay, pulling the left ankle into the left glute. And we're letting that left quad do its thing. Nice. Now let's release the left leg. We're going to return the palms to the mat and come back into a push-up position. And then bring the left foot forward behind the, the right wrist. Knees go down. Back toes are untucked. Okay, rocking back and forth, finding a comfortable position for you. Okay, once again, we're finding what's good, finding your happy place. And we're gonna take two deep breaths here because this is feeling good for me. Let's breathe in. And then release. Then let it even deeper. One, number two, let's breathe in. And then as you breathe out, let's plant both palms in front of you. And let's reach back behind you with the right arm. Let's pull. The right heel in if you can. Okay, feel that right quad. I'm doing the over the toe variation just for funsies. Nice. All right, let's release that side. Ooh, I'm going to get off the left leg. We're going to do so a hip flexor stretch before we return to the hamstring. So let's get on both knees real quick. And then you can plant the left foot in front of you. Give me a nice 90 degree angle. Okay. So you're on your right knee, your left foot's planted in front of you. You begin to rotate your hip forward or your butt forward. So I like to think of it, you should feel that stretch in your right hip. And if that feels good, you can stay there. If not, reach up with your right arm. Let's pull the hip from the top and the bottom. And if you want to go for the super duper option, reach that right arm over your head gently towards the left side of the room or left side relative to where you are. We're breathing. We're stretching, we're reaching. All right, you can drop the right arm back down. Let's switch legs. So back on the left knee, right foot is planted in front of us. Rotate the hip forward once again. I'm gonna add the arm, left arm for this side. And we're letting the left hip get nice and happy. We all like that. We may not like how it feels, but we'll like it later. You're welcome. Okay, we're gonna stay here for another five, four, three, two, one. Let's drop the left arm down. Oh, all right. We're going to sit back down. We're going to do one last stretch before we enter our closing sequence. We're going to get our hamstrings. So left leg is extended out in front. 
Maybe we're just lying down on our mats. That's cool too. Let's bring in our right heel towards our soft tissue. And you want your toes flexed. They're facing the ceiling. Let's start re reaching up, adding your arms up top. And when you exhale, see how far you can get towards those toes. Okay, and if I have some toe people out there, see if you can take that right hand and grab the outside part of the left foot. Getting a nice bonus side stretch. Okay, imagine that you're trying to bring the top of your head to touch your toes. Reaching, reaching, reaching equally with both arms, both hands. Okay, that left hamstring is feeling. Just breathing here. Okay, we'll exit in three, two, one. Let's release that side. Let's switch legs. So right leg is out in front. Left heel is in towards the soft tissue. Adding the arms up top. Feet are flexed or foot's flexed. And we're exhaling over the right leg. Keeping the back of the right knee planted on the mat. And we're reaching, we're grabbing, and we're feeling good. And as you continue to breathe, so you can reach a little bit more. Don't be lazy and just sit there. Get a little bit deeper with each breath. Okay. This is not lazy yoga. We got to engage. You know who you are. All right. Let's come out of it. Cool, cool, cool. And then from there, I want everyone to lie down on their backs for corpse pose. Okay. If you have a yoga block, you can use it as a pillow. A very hard pillow, but a pillow nonetheless. I want you to do a body check, whether your hands are at your sides, let your legs relax. You can close your eyes here. I won't say anything for 60 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Okay, that was about a minute. You can keep your eyes closed. Take the arms and reach overhead. Point the toes at the bottom. We're going to do a nice morning stretch like we did before. We arch the back a little bit. Wriggle side to side. Uh, keep going. Keep going. Uh, release all the things. And then roll on to one side and rest your face right on your hands. We're coming to the end of today's session. Hopefully feeling better than when you came into it. Using whichever arm is on top, plant that palm firmly on the mat and lead with that upper shoulder. Push yourself, return to lotus position or cross legged. Uh, and let's sit up nice and tall. We're going to do our three breaths. You can close your eyes here. 
Let's plug the crown of her head in towards the ceiling and breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. All right, number two, let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. All right, last one. That's where we make a count. Let's breathe in through the nose and breathe out with some sound. Let's bring our hands to heart center. You can repeat after me if you'd like. May you have clear and kind intentions. Let's raise our hands to our forehead. May you have clear and kind thoughts. Let's bring our hands to our lips. May you have clear and kind communication. Let's return our hands to our hearts. And as always, the light in me celebrates and honors the light in you. Namaste, my friends. Remember to pause your watch if you're one of those people that likes to record it. Cool. That's a great pose, Miriam. She's doing great. That's a, it's a long corpse pose. Oh, let's get some food in us.